Okay. Oh Lord, how my attitude. <clears throat> Woosa. All right. <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh oh, careful. That wasn't good, but. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Vinnie McKell. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Today um, is the second to last day of my 25 days of content, and <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm so exhausted. I don't want to film anything else. Like, if you ask me how I feel in this very moment, I would not pick up a camera ever again. That's not, that's not, that's not in real life, okay? I'm a little dramatic of a person. But if you ask me how I feel right now in this moment, if I never picked up a camera again, it would be too soon. <laughs> that is currently how I feel. And there are plenty of videos that I could have made, but every time the, the thought of pulling out the items to make the videos, I felt sick to my stomach. I literally could not stomach the idea of pulling out a bunch of stuff to talk about. I was just over it. Tell the truth from the devil, I was over it, okay? So I said, do something where you don't have to pull out anything. You can just talk organically, okay? So we're going to talk about some of my favorite places to buy perfume oils, um, places that I recommend, have good experiences with, and give you whatever the lowdown is on each individual website if that's necessary, okay? Um... Before I get into that, I have to thank y'all for real from the bottom of my heart. Like y'all have made this such an enjoyable as, as enjoyable as what? As enjoyable of an experience as it could be. Okay. <laughs> Giving this crazy idea that I have, okay? Y'all been engaging with the content and over the next couple of weeks that I take off, I'm gonna be in the comments in the after party. I have not been in the after party because I've been just so focused on getting the content out. But I'm going to the after party after this 25 days is over and we're gonna still have a good time down there. So don't you worry, I will be at the after party. I will be at the second spot, okay? Uh, I love y'all, y'all engaged with the content. Y'all have been advocating for me so, so, so hard in spaces I didn't even know that y'all were advocating. Y'all reach out to brands on my behalf. Y'all be other people's comments. I'm like, oh yeah, she, Vanilla talked about this. Vanilla did, like y'all be showing up and showing out and I just, it don't get better than y'all. It don't get no better than y'all. I don't know how people talking about they sent me stuff for my birthday. I'm like, who? Who, me? I just, it, like, and I don't know. It just don't get no better than y'all. Like, how are y'all so great? How did y'all find me? I don't know. Anyway, I love y'all. Um, Merch. Can you see it? <laughs> so this is one of the ideas that was actually able to come to fruition so this will be available tomorrow on the website for what for pre-order okay if i only get one hat order i'm gonna take it to the man and say please make my hat if i get seventy thousand, i don't know <laughs> but it'll be available for pre-order so you know get your hat if you want one the journals will also restock for pre-order and i think i'm gonna also add the hat with my face on it too i think that would be available for pre-order as well um okay i think those are all my announcements and i just need to fuss for like two and a half seconds because y'all know i just moved to, the, to this apartment right i seen a letter in my mailbox i don't check my mail because i just don't like checking my mail so who knows when they put that in there but they were telling me that the people had the maintenance had to come and do something with the furnace per some inspection or whatever okay cool fine whatever they said he just they just need enough room to be able to get to the furnace and to be able to kneel down okay i cleared the path from the door to the furnace kneel down whatever i got going on over here you shouldn't need to touch that all you gotta do is get from the door to the furnace i could pull every braid out of my hair right now first of all it was raining today so i'm gonna attribute part of the mess to the fact that i'm sure they were walking outside and inside so it's just mud and dirt that has been tracked through here and i'm not even on a germaphobe like that i promise i'm not it's one of them super like neat freak germaphobes i'm really not but one of my i think that's part of the problem so i know i'm talking but bear with me one of the things that i specifically have been trying to be intentional about doing and this was on my 30 before 30 before 30 what did i call this 30 transformation 30 that's what i call it one of the things on that list is to be more intentional about taking care of the spaces that i live in the car my car like being just more conscious not nothing super crazy but just being more conscious and put more of a concerted effort to 
maintain a relatively clean space because you're a creative person and you do need a clean space to be able to create but sometimes it's difficult when you got a lot of things in your brain so just making a more concerted effort to maintain some semblance of cleanliness so I'm not a super neat freak germaphobe like that, but I've been trying to at least, I can figure it a little out of hand. Okay, let me sweep real quick. Let me mop real quick. Let it not get too, too far, okay? So the fact that when I walk in, turn the lights on, I just see dirt and mud and grass everywhere. I'm like, whoa. Then, like, y'all know I've been talking about, like, perfume oils and stuff, so I still have some on this, like, tray right here by my couch. There's perfume oils all on the floor that have been knocked down that they didn't pick up. They're perfume there's a stand right here the tv stand there was a uh, a bottle that like not a body oil that i put on this morning that was like knocked over it wasn't on the ground but it i it certainly was laying flat and i know it wasn't like that this morning um there's like dirt handprints all on like the door and the wall it's just i don't know what they were in here doing like they just said they need enough space to get to the furnace and be able to kneel down why all of this space over here has been destroyed and there's dirt i don't know i just am so annoyed so i feel like tomorrow what i'll be spending my time doing is like really cleaning up and doing a deep sweep and a deep mop because i just am so annoyed i don't understand how all this space over here i just i'm so annoyed so I'm like, I don't want y'all to come back ever again to do anything. Whatever's wrong, I'll fix it myself. It like, and I took the Swiffer and did a quick, like, just to try to get some of the dirt and stuff up. The pad, the Swiffer pad is black. Black, not gray, not black, pitch black. I really don't even, I just, so bear with me, okay? Annoyed is not the word. There's another word past the word that I can't say on here. <laughs> so, okay. Now that I've got that out, let's talk about some of my favorite places to get perfume oils. This order is not in any specific list. It's not an exhaustive list. It is not everywhere that I have bought perfume oils from. Um, and some of my favorite, favorites, favorite, favorite perfume oils are probably not even in they're, the place that I got them from is probably not in this list because it may be like one or two and it's not like where I frequently frequently shop okay so just bear that in mind and there's a lot of perfume oils that I know I, even, I haven't even got a chance to really dig into yet um so I'll keep that in mind as well this is just the first that comes to my mind that I think of when I go to look for a perfume oil okay so the first obviously you know it's gonna be fragrant body oils okay they to me so far I enjoy them the best for like the higher end perfumes like I don't look to them for their dupes of like Bath and Body Works scents, which they have some I'm not really looking for them for that and for like the more inexpensive perfumes I do have some that they do that's inexpensive but that's not what I typically look to them for I find that I enjoy them more for more higher end more niche perfume oils I feel like that's where they really really shine and I enjoy them the best so like their Kayali scents are really good um flower bomb nectar from them is one of my favorites their flower bomb nectar i really enjoy um i'm trying to think i can't think at the moment but what else do i have from them i do like their version of ariana grande cloud i've purchased that several times oh i like their version of love don't be shy i like their version of um angel share like that is probably one of the best dupes i have for angel share angel share anyway is their perfume oil they've got perfume oils for stuff that i've never even heard of okay so to me personally i enjoy, i typically it's not only but i typically enjoy their fragrances their perfume oils for more higher end things um their price is a little higher than some of the other places but like i said i look to them for those type of higher end scents anyway i'm not looking to them for the bath and body works dupes even though they have some i'm just not checking for them for that i'm looking for niche designer higher normally higher end celebrity fragrances that's what i'm looking for so that's fragrant body oils another place that i really really enjoy y'all already know this the scent for you now 
Y'all know my spiel. I ain't gonna do it again, but y'all know how, my spiel about how I feel about what they've been doing lately. But I, I, ain't, I ain't gonna lay them too heavy. However, I, number one, I like them because they're, they used to be very affordable. And also, I like to use them for scents like Bath and Body Works scents. Like some, um, some of your more inexpensive perfumes. I like to use them for that. And to add, you know, you know I like to layer. I like to do levels. So, like, they have Bubblegum Pop from Bath and Body Works. They have several Bath and Body Works scents. Victoria, Bath and Body Works scents. Victoria's Secret scents. Um, Vanilla Vibes from Julia Has a Gun. I like that from them. They actually did do a really good job on their um, Eden Juicy Apple from Bath and Body Works. That's good. They have a couple original ones I like, like Caribbean Salsa. That one is really, really good. Egyptian Amber. Stuff like that. But, those, so they do have a range of a lot of scents. They have Product Paradox. They have Donna Board and Roma, which doesn't smell like the original, but it's still really good. But, I don't look to them necessarily for the higher end things if they happen to have a more higher end one and it's 250 and it smells good and it's a win but i'm typically looking for them for stuff that you know more around the way everyday type of scent if that makes sense like i said they have like a couple in that are more higher more higher end and they're really really good but that's what i'm checking for to, um typically oh i meant to do like a little uh oh i'm looking at their ysl libre intense that one actually is really good and really spot on to the original too um let me do this here because i have done a couple other informative videos as it pertains to perfume oils so i have one video i'll insert it here where i talk about how to apply perfume oils and i go a little bit in depth about like the different sizes and how to order what the different sizes mean um and also give you different methods to apply the perfume oil so if you don't if you're new to perfume oils this should have went at the top i apologize i was flustered but if you're new to perfume oils go ahead and check out that video there's a lot of good information in that i've also done a video talking about perfume oils that i think are better than the original and i've also done perfume oils that i think smell exactly like the original i think i've done both of those and i've done a video talking about beast mode perfume oils like perfume oils that are like super strong super long lasting stronger than perfume like super strong and i think i also went through my collection and went through like if i could only buy one perfume oil from different brands which one would it be so i'll actually make a playlist i think i might have already made a playlist but i'm really heavily into perfume oils i love perfume oil so i try to be as informative as possible for those who are newbies to perfume oil what to perfume oils or don't really know where to start i have a lot a lot of information uh, things i've already talked about as it pertains to perfume oil so check out um i'll make a little playlist check those out so that you can learn as much information as possible a quick refresher when we typically talk about perfume oils we're typically talking about this size this is a third of an ounce roll-on and typically for the most part when um brands perfume oil brands companies they typically the standard size is this size which is a third of an ounce roll-on okay this size is a one ounce roll-on okay one ounce this is one ounce much much bigger than this one you can fit three of these into one of these don't order a one ounce from somewhere or my recommendation is to not order a one ounce from somewhere from a brand if you don't know what their version smells like okay this is also what I was supposed to do at the top I was flustered all perfume oils are not created equally all perfume oil brands do their versions do not all smell the same so just because you went to jojojo.com and ordered their version of valentino donna born aroma don't mean that you can go to lololo.com and get their version it's gonna smell the same it's not gonna smell the same also just because you like how a perfume smells don't mean that when you order from them that it's gonna smell like exactly like the perfume all perfume oils are not created equally okay you do have to figure out to get a third of an ounce or less if they have it fragrant body oils they have what's called half tram samples that is this size okay and there's plenty plenty and i'm a person who over pull or I, everything i do i do over the top okay there is plenty enough in here for you to determine if you like a fragrance or not and get a bigger size okay trust me 
there's plenty in here to wear several times to know if you really like a fragrance or not okay so my recommendation as an expert perfume oil expert did i just make that up yes i'm an expert perfume oil ex perfume oil expert put it on the shirt expert perfume oil expert <laughs> um my recommendation is to do a third of an ounce or less if you're trying a brand for the first time okay this is this is vision that body oils i haven't talked about them yet this is third of an ounce this is fragrant body oils third of an ounce this is european perfumes third of an ounce this is what do i have this is the scent for you third of an ounce okay it's a very very standard size as it pertains to perfume oils so you're looking for if you've never tried a brand before my recommendation will be a third of an ounce or less okay is there anything else i want to say In, info wise no i think that's it um but i lost what i was gonna say though what initially led me to this topic what was i talking about i don't know but because I, I didn't get off track now. But I talked about fragrant body oils. And I talked about the scent for you. Another company like I, um, that I just mentioned is Vision Air Body Oils. Vision Air Body Oils is based in Michigan. So if you are local to the Michigan area, you can go in store. They always they have deals inside. Sometimes they have sales online. But it's mostly inside that they really have like different days of the week. They have different sales. So I would highly recommend going in store and smelling them if you are in the Michigan area. Um, I also look to them for more inexpensive um, scent fragrances, not lower end, I don't want to say lower end, but I'm not looking to them for the more higher end scents. If they have one that I happen to like, cool, but that's not what I'm going for. Because um, their 30 of an ounce roll-ons are $5. Very affordable. It's easy to rack up. And they do have a website. They have a really good website. So, yeah. Um, let me see some of my favorites from them. I love their version of Alien Goddess. Love, 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 love their version of Alien Goddess. I actually, their version of Valentino Down and Born in Roma is one of my favorites. I think it's the closest I've smelled so far to the original. Um, they got some good, all their Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret scents to me are always spot on. To me, they're, they shine there as well. Really, really spot on. I've been enjoying a Gucci one from them. I think it's Gorgeous Jasmine, I think I've been wearing recently um yeah that one's really good too now if it's a niche fragrance they're going to be ten dollars so i think they may have some kayali ones and um who else it was somebody else their niche scents are more their 10 i don't know if i have any of their niche scents but um i typically enjoy them for scents like that again i wouldn't recommend going on there buying the full one ounce if you've never smelled their version before their interpretation might be different than what you're looking for so my recommendation try a few get a feel for how they are but their best mighty work scents are normally spot on victoria's secret scents are normally spot on those few that i named that i can think of alien goddess valentina donna morning roma oh this armani c smells good I'm, I'm trying not to go in too much depth on each thing this armani c smells like it too so they do they do a good job too um and i have a ton of stuff from them it's terrible because i can just go walk in and just ooh, doo, 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 doo. it's terrible okay who else um let's get into some more some that are non-traditional as it pertains to ordering the first one is going to be united roots i have done at least two if not three or four hauls from united roots they have really 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 good products they are also very affordable. Their third of an ounce to start is it five dollars, and then you could do like three for twelve or something like that. Um, there's a couple, you know. Well, here's what I say: if you're just looking for the traditional, go online, click what you want, put your credit card number in, and check out. That's not gonna be for you, okay? As far as I still know, they don't have a traditional website yet. I always order via either Facebook Messenger or I got somebody's number. I be texting. I don't know who it is. I don't know who they are. They don't know who I am. But I text them and tell them what I want. And they be like, okay, this your total. Hit the PayPal. <laughs> I'm so for real. It's real on the low. You know what I'm saying? It's not. So if you want the people that you just like straight up, let me go on the website, click on what I don't feel like all the hullabaloo, that ain't going to be for you. However, 
they do have some really 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 good products um so quite a few of them are in my beast mode perfume oils video because some of them are just literally so long lasting so strong even their bath and body work scent there's one that i could think of bahamas passion fruit and banana flower i've never put that on and didn't get a compliment ever it's so long lasting so strong um vanilla berry oh that's one of the original ones love it i done went back and bought the big bottle because i ran through that third of an ounce so quick um but yeah, the one one of the downfalls is on a traditional website. The other problem sometimes is, even though they have a really really long list, they don't always have a lot of the things in stock. So sometimes what I have to do is like call and be like, "Hey, you got this, 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 and this," and they'll say, "Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no," and then from there I make up my mind and send my order. So that's caveat, caveat. If you're looking for the traditional ordering experience, it's not going to be for you. However, if you don't mind looking through their, you know, pages and pages, I think I think they have like a Google Doc or an Excel Doc or some sort. If you don't mind looking through those pages and then messaging them on Facebook or whatever, if you don't mind non-traditional ways of ordering, they are very, very, very good oils. Very long lasting. I don't think I've had a single oil from them that I didn't like. They are very, very good. So, and they, they are all, so far everybody I named... The first two were black owned. I think United Roots is minority owned. I want to say Hispanic, but I don't want to be wrong. But I almost want to say they are minority owned as well. If not black owned. Um, so I talked about Franklin Body Oils. Oh wait, the scent for you. I don't know what they are. So I don't know. Let me not say I don't know who owns them. Franklin Body Oils is black owned. Vision and Body Oils is black owned. United Roots, I'm certain is minority owned. I don't know which minority it is, but I know it's minority owned. Um, who else? That's four. Maybe I can do one more. Let's think. Oh, I'll do another Michigan-based one. Um, I'm going to say PMA Designer Oils. That is another Michigan-based business. They are in Taylor and Southland Mall. Okay. Um, I have been... That was what started my intro into perfume oils when I first came to college was PMA Designer Oils. So they will always have a special place in my heart. I don't frequent them as often these days because I just don't feel like going out there all the time. I don't I always feel like driving out there to the mall. But I have years and years of worth of years and years worth of wearing their oils. Okay, they do have really good oils. One that will always I don't care what happens. I will always make the journey to go back out there and get it. Their version of Jimmy Choo Fever is the best perfume version of a perfume oil version of a perfume I've ever smelled. Okay, that one made me go and buy the perfume so that I could so that I could smell it more, and it still wasn't as good as the perfume oil. They also have the shimmers from Michael Kors, my Midnight Shimmer, Twilight Shimmer. Love those. Their version of is a Good Girl that I like. I think they have a really good version of Good Girl. Um, I used to wear a ton of like. Um, Britney Spears scents from them, Escada scents from them. They have a really good selection as well. Um, their prices has gone up since I first started shopping with them. Tell us your shame the devil. When I started shopping with them, the oils were nine, eight for twenty dollars. We can get eight roll-ons for twenty dollars. Actually, when I first started, it was nine. Then it went to eight. Then it went to something else, and then they would do eight for twenty on special occasions. Then it was just, and it's just going up and up and up, <laughs> up and up and up since. Even with that, there's still certain ones that I just have to go back and get from them. That Jimmy Choo Fever is one of them. The Shimmers is one of them. Is it a Tommy Bahama one I'm thinking of, or the blue? One? It's a blue one I'm thinking of. It might be a Britney Spears or an Escada one. Um, but yeah, they. They will always have my heart because they were my first introduction into perfume oils. And they do have really good oils. They are another one that's not the traditional method of ordering either. Um, I believe you can contact them on Facebook or call them and they will um, ship your order out to you. I've never done it because I can just go to the mall and pick up my stuff. But they, I have heard of people doing it. They do ship. They do take orders either on the phone or via Facebook, I believe. So, those are the companies that I can say I've been shopping with for at least over a year. Some of these longer. So, I've made multiple orders, gone back and forth. You know, I know that these are bona fide, verified, certified places, okay? Now, there are some other places that are new to me 
and I haven't had a lot of experience with them so I, I don't want to speak too heavily because I've only maybe placed one order and you know I don't want to say give my approval yet until I place multiple orders but some other places that have my eye is Valerie on, Valerie's on Common Sense she's another one that has a super um just a vast variety of different things to try I feel like I have I know for a fact I have not yet touched the surface of everything that she has to offer like it is you will you can spend hours looking through the list reading all the notes like that baby got some products okay um and they're very affordable and she's always having sales always 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 having sales she probably got one right now 25 percent 10 mil perfume oils exclusive clearance 250 oils Eau de Parfume sale, five, ten, like she's always got sales, always. And I can say, I uh, only bought, I think only bought one thing that was a dupe of original. I think I bought one of the perfumes that she makes into like a perfume or that she turns into perfume. I think it was a Chanel one. And at first I was like, it's, I don't think it's spot on. But then as I was like moving throughout the day, it just kept smelling exactly like the perfume it was supposed to be a dupe for. And I said, no, this is good. But I still have that to say, I enjoy her original scent. I am enjoying and like finding myself more drawn to her original creations over her um, dupes. So that's one values on common sense. Another one is the perfume chick. Shout out to Lauren at Los So Natural for putting us on. So far, I've only placed one order, but the things that I have, I got. The only one problem that I had with, with it was when my order came something has spilled and like all the labels and stuff were like rubbed off and stuff so some stuff i don't remember what it is i don't know what it is some stuff i can still kind of tell that was the only kind of drawback but so far the one order i placed was really really good oh and that beloved beloved that she got on there that's another one girl you might make one make sure that the um is it the fda the fdic that's the bank who are the people that govern um, products and stuff? Whomever the people is, you might want to make sure they don't know about that because it ain't no way. That is the second perfume oil that I was so strong, I got sick of it. Because of, that's how strong it was. It it made somebody, they was, I walked into a room and there was a door that was closer to them that they could have walked out of. But they walked to the front to tell me how good I smelled and they and the room wasn't big no but the fact that me walking in moved them to chorus enough that they walked from the back to the front to tell me how amazing I smelled and all I had on was that beloved perfume oil and this was at the end of the day I don't, I, I ain't even gonna hold you it smells like black women but it's like black women on times a thousand I don't even care for the scent but because of how strong it is when it's done when I'll be purchased <laughs> you know me what yes <laughs> yes the it garners so many compliments it's so strong those are the only that i can think of right now that i'm like that are coming to my brain i will make sure to believe everything at least all the websites or their communication however to get in contact with them i will be sure to leave that down below for each individual brand so whether it's their website or their facebook page i will be sure to leave some type of information with how to get in contact with them and yeah if you have any other and i think i asked this in another video but i'll ask you again if you have any other perfume oil places that are like your favorites that you're super fond of that you really really love that you always have a great experience head over to the after party let us know even if it's not the traditional met method of ordering as you can see i don't mind if the products are really good and they're worth it i don't mind going through the non-traditional ways of ordering something if it's really good if it's worth it i will jump through a few hoops not too many don't overwhelm me now <laughs> but i don't mind going through a few steps to order if the product is going to be worth it so drop down your favorites also confirm and or deny if i mentioned a brand or a product that you had a good or bad experience with go ahead share the experience at the end of the day everybody has their own experience it's all valid and it helps people make a more informed decision because at the end of the day i want people to buy things that they're actually going to like and enjoy and all the things so uh, i think that's all thank y'all for sticking it out through my frustrations and my venting i feel like we brought it together in the end okay i love you all so much i'll see you in my next one bye